What is up everybody? It's King Kuntha and today I have another amazing World of Warcraft gold farming video for you guys. And have you ever thought to yourself, huh, I just need to make 300k super quick and I need to make it disappear off the auction house really fast because I'm laundering money through World of Warcraft and I have an illegal drug business. I'm joking. I'm joking. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Anyways, it's King Kuntha, and uh, we have another gold farming video for you guys. And as you can see, these nerds right here are trying to go ahead and take me out, but we're not going to let that happen. So today, we are located here in another Burning Crusade area. And as we can see, we are located down here in the bottom of Shadow Moon Valley. And yet, they are still hitting me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so as you can see, this farm has a ton of mobs. And they will just run after you like that. We don't have to do the quest. But we're going to be farming for one thing and one thing in particular. Now, it is a world drop in the Burning Crusade. And it's a world drop that sells for about 300k on most servers. And it's selling for about 100k on some high pop servers. So I would obviously check the market. Now, the item that we're going to be farming for are going to be called the Bracers of the Green Fortress. Now, these are plans. These are not the item. Now the reason we're farming the plans is because anybody who knows anything about World of Warcraft knows that plans sell way better than anything else. Plans sell the best because people use the plans to make transmog items to sell those transmog items on the auction house. So in order to go ahead and take advantage of this farm, all we're going to do is you're just going to come to this location that I am at right here. We're just going to want to come to the top. So if I fly up real quick, I'll show you. So as we can see, we have this little like curve little thing going on down here and there's tons of these mobs all over so as we can see uh there's these ellipsion i think i'm saying that right um soldiers and the spellbinders so what we're going to want to do is we're only going to really try to target the spellbinders because they have the highest percentage drop chance for this item out of any mob in the burning crusade now it is a world drop but these ones actually have been um tested and found out that these are actually have a much higher chance of dropping the item so the way that i run this farm is i essentially come up to this top portion right here now just so you know these mobs do not instant respawn but the fact that there's just so many of them makes it so you can literally just keep running this over and over and over again. So you're bound to get some good items. You're also going to get some greens and probably some other uh, trash mog, transmog uh, drops out of here as well. In addition to the netherweave and the transmog and stuff that you could get, you want to get the plans, obviously, because those are going to sell way quicker. Uh, you're also going to get netherweave and some other just basic stuff like that. So as we can see, uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top. And essentially, if you're a druid, this farm is super easy for you because you have instant cast AoE spells. Any um, class that has any instant cast AoE uh, spells or abilities is going to automatically have an insane advantage in this farm. So as you can see, the easiest way that I've found to run this is literally just pull everything, pull about two or three groups, nuke them, and then keep going. Now, since you killed these, you can literally just run back and loot them later. So ideally, you're going to do slash stopwatch in the chat below, and we're going to wait for it to hit about 1 minute and 30 seconds, and we're going to go back and loot all of them. But as you can see, it's super simple, and all you have to do is just run down here and nuke literally all of these mobs. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get to the end over here, and then I'm just going to run back and loot all of it. And you'll see I actually pull a ton of loot. Um, just from these mobs alone here so as we can see we kind of got them they're a little bit spread out which is kind of annoying that's really the only main downfall of this farm but if you're a droid it's super easy because you can literally just pop into flight form pop back out and loot everything and run back as you can see I just did that and I also got some leg plates and stuff like that so some actually good gear to go ahead and list on the auction house but uh, as we can see here I'm literally just flying through and I'm just gonna show you all the mobs now because I this video would be so boring if you just watch me kill a bunch of stuff so after you get to the, like the crimson watch you can turn around and then start heading back down this trail down here now I already nuked the mobs down there so there might not be as many but as you can see there's tons of groups of them literally tons of groups of them now you can start this farm from this area too you don't have to start it from where I started it and I did nuke them earlier and as you can see they're all back up already um, so it's really super easy. You can actually just do this farm in just this area, then switch up to the top and then go back to the bottom and the mobs will actually be reset for you. Now, 
the reason I'm showing you guys this farm is not only because of the recipe, but you actually have the opportunity to get a bunch of other gear out of this farm as well. This farm is super, super simple to do. Literally anybody can do it. If you have World of Warcraft now, chances are you're at least higher than level like 85, and you should be able just to run here and nuke all of these. Now, just keep in mind that all these mobs do have a chance to drop it because it is a world drop. But the spellbinders are the ones with the highest chance to drop it. So ideally, you're going to try to target the spellbinders and uh, loot them quicker maybe than the rest of them. But really, there's just so many mobs that you can just keep doing this for hours. This is a great farm if you need netherweave because you'll pull just an insane amount of it in this farm. As you can see, it's just me running up and down, nuking, 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 and nonstop. That's really all this farm consists of. Uh, it's super simple to do. The only caveat is the fact that all the mobs are spread out so far away, and that's kind of irritating. But as you can see, uh, I just nuked all of these, and there's still more mobs coming up and stuff like that. So it's really easy just to go ahead and pick all this stuff up. Now, chances are you're probably one of the only people farming this because not a lot of people uh, actually do attempt to go out and farm this. Um, just because of the location, most people actually get these drops out of raids just randomly. Uh, but targeting it like this with all these mobs actually makes it so much simpler than just running a raid and nuking the whole thing because you can literally just do this non-stop and uh, if you have some way of holding aggro and keeping them you can actually just bring them with you the entire way um, it's super easy to do as you guys can see literally just look at this I'm literally just standing here and they're just coming to me like how look at this what kind of mob density do you know anywhere in the game that has this kind of like ability like this it's very very good spot and not a lot of people take advantage of this you can also mine these for some like extra nodes and stuff and crystal fragments if you need them um, they will sell in the auction house not super well but they will um, but again you will pull a ton of nether weave and stuff like that so if you're a tailor this farm is really good for you and also if you're a, an enchanter you can disenchant all this stuff and a lot of people are looking for burning crusade mats because a lot of people that like have the plans uh, for these gauntlets uh, do actually need the items that you can actually get disenchanted out of them to make them so those are really the two options you have there and if you are a blacksmith and you just want to keep the plan and keep selling those bracers because they sell for a ton on the auction house and a lot of people are looking for them um, you can do that as well obviously it's going to take a little bit longer than just selling the plans itself and uh, if you're looking for an easy cash out, the plans sell for about 300k, so it's easy to do. And uh, if you're looking for some long-term gold investment, you can actually just keep the plans, make them, and keep selling those on the auction house. Now, this is really a market that's kind of been untapped in World of Warcraft, to my knowledge. Uh, from all the search and research that I've done on this, um, this farm is actually pretty good. And you guys should come check this out now as I post this video, because I guarantee there's going to shoot up and there's going to be a ton on your auction house. As you can see, these mobs are already back up already. So this farm is super easy to do. Just run through it. Literally, like, requires no effort whatsoever. Just running around and AoEing stuff. So it's not difficult, and uh, I think you guys will really like it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video, and uh, we're going to talk about the channel, talk time with Kunta, all that good stuff. Um, and, yeah, so stay tuned if you're interested in any of that. We'll see you there. All right, everybody. We're back after that cut. And basically, um, all I wanted to talk to you guys about is the type of farms that I'm going to be putting out um, more often now. So as you can see, I've been farming up a lot of plans lately, and they've actually been doing pretty well for me on the auction house. So I thought that i just bring the methods that I use that work well for me and show them to you guys. Um, so really, on my auction house, what I do is I tend to just stack up plans and battle pets and stuff like that and sell them off the auction house because when you do sell them, there's some very high ticket uh, items that sell and they generate you a lot, a lot of gold. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to bring you guys farms that will sell decently well in the auction house, such as plans like these, that you can farm up with like literally all you need is time. That's really it. It's just running through and farming these up. All you need is time. Um, and yeah, so that's all I wanted to tell you guys about the videos right now. And I also wanted to thank you guys for almost pushing me. I am literally so close to 10k subs. Like, I don't know. I say this like every time, like when I hit 5k and stuff like that. But 10k is just, it's a whole nother bar ballpark. Like, I never even thought I would ever get to 10k subs. But like, that's just an insane number of people that like support me and watch my channel. And I just wanted to say thank you because... Without you guys, this channel would be nothing, and it's 
really like it's made me so happy that I've gotten to this point I never ever thought that I would get to this point when I first started making videos I like I had 3k that was cool 5k that was cool but like 10k that was like out of the reach for me stuff like that but I really don't know like I, I think we're just gonna keep going from here um I I'm literally so happy about this guys you you have no idea like 10k subs is a very very high milestone and I'm very happy to almost be there and it's really all thanks to you guys this channel wouldn't be anything without you guys and I just want to go ahead and say thank you for all the continuous support for all the people that I see in the comments section below um, I see you guys here in every video like pokey girl people like that I yep I'm just gonna th start throwing some shout outs there I see some people in the comments literally every time Aiden Hayes he's always in the comments um, and your guys support really makes my day like I read every single comment. I know I don't really have the opportunity to respond to a lot of them because I am a pretty bu uh, busy college student, but um, I just wanted to go ahead and say thank you to everyone because I never thought I would ever get to this point. I guess our next milestone is 15k and then I don't even, I can't even fathom what 20,000 subscribers would even look like. Um, and it's, it's, it literally like, it makes my heart start racing just even thinking about it. And I can't even imagine where we could go from here because when I started this, I didn't think anything was going to come from it. I just did it because I wanted to really, and I had nothing better to do with my time, but it's, it's grown into this cool little community and I'm happy to be a part of it and I'm happy to continue to bring you guys videos. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you guys do. And uh, if you did watch to the end of this video, comment glow mushrooms and I will heart your comment and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. And I'll try to reply to every single one I can. But uh, then again, I do work and I do have college, so pretty busy life here. Um, anyways, it's Ben Kinkunta. Thanks for all the support, everybody. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.